All right, Soccer Monster fans, we're going to watch something here called Summer Heat. I'm not sure what to expect here. I'm not sure I saw this. Actually, I did see it. Let's check it out again. I didn't think much about whether there would be anything else for me. But then the summer of 1937 changed my life forever. At that time, I didn't understand all the things that happened. Our movie starts with a flashback. Lori Singer at a funeral. Thank you. Anthony Edwards. This is where they meet. It's Roxy and Aaron. Are you stay in our house? So Roxy and Aaron end up getting married. And one day, Jack walks into town. That's the actor Bruce Abbott. He's looking for work. I'm looking for Mr. Will. But you knew I was coming out. So the guy he asked for work says, Go to my daughter's place. That's his daughter. And they'll find some odd jobs for you to do. Well, Miss Walton, if your husband didn't tell you, I guess I will. So anyway, he becomes fast friends with both of them. But he seems to have an eye for Roxy. One day Jack gets a peek at Roxy in her bra. And now he's going to move in with him. Roxy, why don't you clean out that shift robe in the spare room so Jack can put his things in it? She's only got her sewing stuff in there now. So there seems to be a little uh, sexual tension between these two. And one day, when Aaron's in town, Jack just takes her. And she doesn't resist. From then on, the two of them are sneaking around virtually every day. Us, Roxy. And then her and her husband start arguing. No. Sweet, I can't hear you. No. Daddy mentioned something about Jack staying here. It might be better. He said we ought to get the first back in the market and then give him some money and send him on. People are starting to talk in town, so... Don't worry. I think it's best for him to leave. He's not coming down here. But that still doesn't stop the two from going at it when they get a chance. He ain't gone yet. Get stung. God damn it, Roxy. Come on down back to the barn, Eric. I want to show you something I killed down there today. I don't know what it is. A few minutes later, Jack returns alone. Put some clothes on, baby. We gotta go. For what? Don't ask me that. Just get your clothes, put some things in your suitcase. We gotta go. Where is Aaron? You don't really want to know, Roxy. Just get in the car. I'll tell you about it later. I hit him in the hole, Roxy. The, the hole I dug. I is that okay? It's Roxy. I hit him twice. <laughs> At the hole. I dug the hole, Roxy. <laughs> I dug the ball behind the barn. Saturday, we all went town. And I sat out there and I looked into it all day and all night. And I called him out there and I hit him. Brought him when he was getting on the bus. Please catch up with him almost immediately. He told us where he buried your husband. We called it the Tarboro. Some of your people went out there and they dug him up. He made a full confession. It says you two planned it together. So Jack is arrested and Roxy's also brought up on charges. Still gets to go to Aaron's funeral though, or at least see him laid out. And it's a day of court.
those knights down in the barn were your idea, weren't they? You asked me to come down there. But they were your idea, weren't they? Gentlemen, I want you to return a verdict of guilty. I want you to send Jack Ruffin and Roxanna Walston to the gas chamber. She never did say she'd run off with me. I pushed her into the car that night. She didn't know what happened. And when I finally told her, she ran away from me and hid. Kathy Bates. Different things happen to different people, Roxy. I don't think you're the only one something bad ever happened to. What really matters is how you behave after it's over. I'm going to stay right here and I'm going to write it out. Just the same as you and Ruth and our whole family. All right, let's talk about Summer Heat. Not my, not a typical type movie that I would have in my collection, yet I have it. I ended up taping this back in 1989, 1990, somewhere on there. May have rented it and copied it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what struck my eye with it. Maybe it was the sexy cover. I thought it was another one of those uh, early 70s German type movies. Although, I think there actually was a VHS tape out at that time called Summer Heat, which was a movie like that. Different movie than this one, but... Or maybe I was just, uh, like I said, sexy cover... Uh, celebrity nudity, Laurie Singer, who knows. But whatever the case is, I got it, and now I have a DVD of it. So, it takes place in 1937, I think it was, during the Depression, and um, Laurie Singer and Anthony Edwards are a married couple. Uh, Laurie Singer, my member from Footloose, Anthony Edwards is Revenge of the Nerds, and uh, ER. Um, and then uh, a, a guy wanders into town, Bruce Abbott, who plays Jack, um, and he ends up doing some odd jobs for, for the couple at their place. Bruce Abbott, you might remember, was in uh, Reanimator. Um, so anyway, he seems to have an immediate attraction to Laurie Singer, which I totally understand. She's a good-looking lady. And there seems to be some sort of passion between them, some heat. And as soon as uh, uh, Jack gets an opportunity, he kind of makes his move on her, and she doesn't resist. And next thing you know, they're rolling around in the field, in the hay field, or the cornfield, whatever it was. And then from there on, they're screwing basically every night. Anytime uh, uh, her husband's away, uh, they're going at it. So anyway... Eventually, some people start talking in town that, uh, you know, he moves in with them at one point. Uh, but some people in town start to say they, he probably shouldn't be in that house uh, with a married couple. And uh, Anthony Edwards agrees. So they decide that she, she, she should go. Um, he doesn't obviously want to go. Um, and then one night, uh, probably a day or two before he was going to leave, um, he tells Anthony Edwards uh, to come out to the barn. I'm going to show you something that I killed earlier. And they go out there. Next thing you know, Bruce Abbott comes running back. Jack comes back and tells Laura Singer, he's like, hey, um, pack your shit. We need to go. Um, they have a young child, too. Or uh, uh, Anthony Edwards and Laura Singer had a baby as well, who they called Baby, by the way. But anyway, um, so she's kind of like in a flutter. She doesn't know what's going on, but she runs into the car with him. They take off with the baby. And we find out that uh, he kind of reveals to her that he killed uh, her husband. Uh, hit him with a shovel, buried him out back, and they're on the run now. Well, they don't last very long. Um, if it was only one night, I don't know. And then he confesses everything to the cop. However, he says, both she and I planned this. So they end up going to court, um, and uh, she says she just was not planned this sort of thing. And um, the prosecutor basically says, you know, he wants both of them to be uh, uh, sentenced to the electric chair. At that point, uh, Jack stands up in the courtroom and says, no. Um, I have a conscience. This isn't right. She had nothing to do with this. She didn't even know about it until after it happened. Um, yeah, nothing. So anyway, she gets let go and Bruce Abbott gets sent to the, uh, gas chamber. And that's basically how our movie ends. So there you go. That is summer heat. And there was some heat, some passion, uh, in there. So anyway, the movie's decent. You know, it's a pretty short movie actually, only 80 minutes long. It was a, like a legitimate, I don't know, it was a major release, but it was definitely a movie that played in the theaters and, uh, um, had some people watch it. I don't know. I never did, but whatever. Um, saw it on VHS, and uh, now I have it in my collection. So there you go. Laurie Singer does have a couple of brief topless scenes in this, and uh, that's nice.
<laughs> so there you go. Anyway, that's Summer Heat. Ain't got much else like about this. 20th Century Fox put this out on their limited edition collection. What that means, it's a, it's a burn DVD. It says DVD-R when you put it in your machine. So, But it looks fantastic. So anyway, that's it. Check it out. Leave some comments in what you think about it. If you've seen this thing, Summer Heat, watch it. Bye.